Molnia 1-1 was launched on April 23, 1965 from Gagarin's start at Baikonur Cosmodrome. Its goal was to become the first communication satellite in a Molnia orbit, which is meant to serve high-latitude locations that geosynchronous satellites can't maintain contact with, like much of the Soviet Union. Rather than being set in a circular orbit at the equator like Intelsat-1 was, a Molnia satellite is placed into a highly eccentric orbit inclined at 65 degrees. While such an orbit doesn't stay above a certain location constantly, as a geostationary satellite would, its elongated orbit allowed it to spend two-thirds of its orbital period over the region meant to use its services, and it swings by the opposite side at low altitude very quickly. Molnia means lightning in Russian, and the orbit's quick descent to the surface on each 12-hour pass is certainly reminiscent of lightning striking the surface, but so are its transmissions to the surface. Molnia 1-1 was preceded by two failed attempts in 1964. It was placed into a 40,000 by 500 kilometer orbit to give it the 12-hour period by a Molnia rocket, a branch of the R7 family of rockets. A Molnia orbit is technically easier to achieve than a geosynchronous orbit since it doesn't require a burn in apoapsis to circularize its orbit and is more like an interplanetary transfer burn. However, Molnia 1-1 was much heavier than Intelsat 1. It's nearly one ton compared to Intelsat 1's 150 kilograms. This was likely due to each satellite fitting the capabilities of the launcher it was paired with and the R7 rocket having far more capacity than the Delta D. The Ammonia 1 series of satellites used the propulsion system of the early Venera probes. Ammonia 1-1 started its work two days after launch, but unlike a geosynchronous satellite, it could not provide 24-hour coverage over the Soviet Union alone, since it was over the Soviet Union only eight hours each day, spending another eight hours a day over North America, and the rest of the time swinging around. In 1966, it was joined by three more Molnia 1 satellites, with at least two being required to complete the constellation. And in 1967, the Orbita National Satellite Television System was born, the first national satellite TV network. With that, thank you for watching this mission profile of Monio 1.